Oh, Christ. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, well, that's gone in the air. Christ. <laughs> oh, well, that's lovely. That's lovely. That's probably the shot of the day for me. Hello, and welcome to another VR Cricket episode. Today, what I'm going to do is do something a little bit different. What I want to do today is show you how I get, um, I wouldn't say a lot of runs, but my most successful innings is when I'm playing the ultra insane bowling. Um, it's something I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I've been desperate to try and get a century uh, against the ultra insane bowlers. Not quite getting there. I've had a few 70s and 80s, but not quite the 100. So you never know that you may see me get a 100 today on this episode. I doubt it. I haven't played for about a week, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty, but this is my guide to scoring runs against the ultra insane bowling. Let's go. Okay, here we are inside IB Cricket. Um, I'm hoping this time I'm actually recording in widescreen, something I've been dying to do for a while. So hopefully this video will be a little bit different than my normal ones. Um, okay, so we need to go to Golden Wicket. We need to be playing on a bouncy wicket. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to play in the green wicket. That's just impossible. Uh, we're going to play against, uh, uh, let's, let's go India today. Um, the weekly top score is 101. We've got a century maker. Well done. Let's see if we can beat that. Um, ultra insane bowling, unlimited overs, just the one wicket, no bat shield of course, uh, here we go. Okay, here we are inside IB Cricket, uh, there's my high score, if you can just see there's 82, that's my, my high score against the ultra insane bowlers. Again, we're going to open up with Alistair Cook. Now, I did say it's going to be a guide to how I try my best to score as many runs as I can, against the ultra insane bowlers. So this is the, the fast bowler and all I'm gonna do is defend with my life. <laughs> that is my tactics against the, the ultra insane fast bowler. Um, I don't see the point in trying to hit him out of the ground. Uh, I think that all the time you're just defending, a little bit back in the crease and just literally defend with your life. And there's plenty of runs to pick up on the offside. Because at the moment I've already scored two runs just off of three balls. I'm a little bit back in my crease. I'm not worried about scoring runs. And I'm going to leave anything short and wide. I'm not going to try and score off those deliveries. I'm just going to score by defending, basically. Oh, that's a tremendous delivery. I can't do much about that one. <laughs> that's the perfect fast bowling delivery. And again, we're just going to leave it. If it's outside off stop, and, it, and there's no way of it cutting in, I'm just going to leave it. Not a problem. It is a bit um, of a patience game. Again, now we've got a left arm fast bowler. Again, it's just you're trying to get the body and the bat on the ball, basically. There we go. Just anything on the anything on it, really. That's one that's that's one straight out the middle of the bat. So anything you can get, anything is worth a single uh, it's a little bit wider I didn't really need to play that but it's, it's full enough to get a quick single again just defending another quick single that's at 93 mile an hour I'm just getting behind the line getting the back behind the line getting my head across and leaving anything wide Nice shoulders, arms. Make sure we get that bat out of the way. There we go. Nice defensive shot again. Maybe two runs that time. It is. And my screen is a little bit flickery. It's a little bit laggy. I think that's because I've changed my recording settings to uh, 1080p or widescreen rather than just the, um, the square out outlook. Again, another forward defensive. I'm probably not getting as far forward as I should do, but it's keeping the bat behind the ball. Okay, this is m more difficult, really. It's, this now is the right arm medium fast. A medium will move the ball a little bit more. So, what I've been doing is just been standing outside my crease. If, you, if you're able to see it, there's a little dark patch <laughs> on the middle stump uh, guide. And that's why I put my bat just on this little dark patch here. 
the theory is, or my theory is that if I'm standing outside my crease a little bit, I can negotiate some of the swing or the movement. Um, I'll probably get bold first ball now, but that's the idea. Is to get a big stride forward and leave anything that's wide, of course, in, but just make sure you're not leaving it too wide because this ball will move in. Uh, and that's not really a ball I should be playing, but it's again, that's gonna, it's moving in, but it's gonna move, it's gonna leave miss the off stump quite a lot. And then I've been bold. That's the danger of leaving anything in the corridor of uncertainty, as they used to call it. Uh, so not a great start. Seven. <laughs> But this is my general rule, really. I mean, that one I should have played. I knew I should have played it. I was just trying to be, uh, just trying to demonstrate, really, leaving the ball outside your stump, and I failed miserably there. Okay, so we are facing a right arm medium fast. I'm outside my crease. And just defending. I think, really, the easiest way to describe it is just defend. <laughs> Don't try and play anything extravagant. Just defend everything you can. And uh, you will end up scoring singles, twos, and the occasional edge will go for four. But against the medium, I'm outside my outside my crease, leaving anything short. That's one of the golden rules. Anything short, you can leave, not a problem at all. You shouldn't really be getting out to anything short. Um, because it's short and wide, is, just leave them alone. That's a good delivery. You can't do much about those. Won't worry too much about it. If you're missing outside off, don't worry about it. It's not a problem. Here we go. Get everything behind the ball, really. Just to, just to negotiate that movement. So left arm fast medium, this is probably the hardest one because sometimes you get that ball that's uh, pitching outside off stump and just cuts back and takes your middle stump away. So again, it's a case of trying to get everything behind it. Oh, that's a good delivery already. I didn't really need to play that, that was short. Short enough to leave, it's going over the stump for quite a lot. And I've left that just on length of line. Should just about go over the stumps. I think I might have got away with that if it cut back in. Oh, that's that's a good delivery. That did move, but I was just about able to react to it. Don't worry about the score. That's what you've got to think. Don't worry about the score too much. The ones will come if you can. Keep defending and hitting this big gap on the offside. There's twos, ones, but there's plenty of ones if you can just if you can just stick around, basically. That was a uh, very close. <laughs> So I've made an over, but again, try not to worry about it. If you're not scoring any runs, these are just really trying to survive. Fast arm over from the left armour. I'm going to be back in my crease a little bit here. I shouldn't really play played that, but it's going to be four. I think I should have just left that one, but I'll take the four. Again, that was just a defensive shot. And it went away square onto the boundary. I'm back in my crease a little bit here. Oh, Christ! <laughs> and that is why we love playing Ivy cricket, because we forget it's uh, just a simulation. There we go. There's a little bit of a confidence shot. Trust in the, uh, the timing, really. And pushing away for a couple of runs there. Now that's my downfall normally is I'll play a few shots and then I'll get overconfident. Just need to keep patient and leave anything that I don't need to play 
Full time being. Trust the technique. Oh, that's a tremendous delivery. That's gone over. That's gone over middle stump. <laughs> I was a bit late on that one, I think. And it's behind it straight away, look. That's, that's better. That's 94 miles an hour. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, it's another fast bowler. It's the right arm fast bowler now. So I'll get another examination. And oh, that's wide. I need that one. There's no need to play out those whatsoever. And that one, leave those go. Let those go all day, really. Let them go. No problem. Not going to get me out bowling there. All there. That's just about as close as I want it, really. Oh, that's fast. That's 98. I thought that was very fast. <laughs> that's one of the fastest deliveries I've ever faced. I haven't seen 98.6 for a while. Open toes. Again, there's a little push out to the offside for a quick single. And let that one go. So we're on eight or four overs. Again, runs are not really, I'm not really worried too much about the runs right now. I know I can play myself in. I know I can get some, some runs either side of square. But so it's, it's, it's very much a test of patience. Yeah, see, it's missed, missed the outside edge, but I'm not worried. It's, it's not a problem. <laughs> Try and keep on my toes. And just push that one out. Is that a quick single there? There is. It moves us on to nine. Ninety-seven miles an hour. Just playing it for a quick single. Ooh, I didn't need to play that. Come far too, I've come across far too much there. That could have easily been an outside edge, really. I was lucky that it actually come back in rather than left me. It's just trying to remain patient and not get carried away. There we go, that's better. Probably could have left that as well, just looking on length, actually. I think a lot of this technique relies on reading the length. If you can pick up the length early and leave anything that's going to go flying over the stumps, I think you spend a much better chance of uh, sticking around. So we're on 12 so far, five overs. Gooch, eight, Cook, four. Let that one go. That's just literally on length alone. That's better. That was a better delivery. That's come, quite, that's come in quite a lot, so I'm lucky. Yeah, I've played, done well to play that. Should really be outside my crease actually, against this type of bowling. Just trying to negate this swing. Ah, that's terrible. A single, but I didn't need to play that at all. I've got a single there, a very lucky, sh lucky really. I actually meant to pull my bat away, I just didn't do it in time. Oh, that one rose quite a lot. That's a good, good delivery, well played, I think. Next over, 15. With the right arm fast bowler again now, so I'm just gonna be back in my crease a little bit just to give myself. An extra couple of milliseconds. And that's all bold. 
Again, can't do much about those really, just let them go. Next ball, just forget about it. And let that one go on length. And that's an edge. And I have to hold my hands up and apologise to the bowler. Didn't really need to play that as a, as a ball that is leaveable, as I call it. This is a bounce off to finish the other, well not finish the other, but to pay me back I suppose for the outside edge. There we go, that's better. Five off the over, 20 now off seven overs. So I'm always looking to try and score at least 50 if I can. And then anything after 50 is a bonus. And anything after 50, you can start really chasing down your high score. So right arm medium fast. This will move quite a lot. So we can get them outside my crease. And I'll pick up a single there. It does get a little bit easier. Once you're in, it does feel like you can stay in for a while. Just picking up the singles. There's no need to uh, start looking for anything right now. Not yet, anyway, I don't think. Oh, I'm lucky that one. That, was, that could have easily been an inside edge, really. Come on, go. What are you doing? Oh, world. Yeah, the only other thing you have to worry about when you're standing outside your crease is make sure you get back in your crease because the wicket keeper will try and stump you or run you out. Oh, that's terrible. That was a lazy shot. That was one of my lazy shots where I think oh, I'm just pad it back to the mid off, but keep forgetting that it's a. Uh, it's the ultra insane bowling. So left arm fast. I'm gonna do my best now just to get behind the ball. There we go. I know it's easier said than done, but it is, diff it is difficult to try and leave the bouncing ball. Ah, oh, that's good delivery. That's quick as well, it's 96 miles an hour, so can get drawn into playing the rash shot. Christ! <laughs> yeah, I think if that was in real life, I think my uh, I think my helmet would have been splayed across the floor right now. That's that's a proper bouncer, proper throat head high bouncer. Hopefully there's a single there. There he is. So we're on to 23. One ball left of the over. So, nine overs gone now. We're only on 23. So, I'm not sure how you feel. Are you happy to, to survive nine overs? Or would you rather see more more runs on the board? But I'm happy at the moment. 23 off 9, that's not too bad. I'm stuck out the way of that one. <laughs> a little bit of a follow through there from the bat. Ooh, let that one go. Oh, I've gone after that one. Oh, I've gone after that one. Time to just settle down again. Let that one go.
Oh, that must have been close. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I left that one, I thought I was going to hear the clatter of uh, wickets tumbling. Left arm fast. Prefer facing the fast bowlers, to be honest. I mean, I can sit back in my crease and try and defend anything. Like that, there we go. Just a little bit of a push, actually. It wasn't quite a defensive shot, it was more of a push rather than a defensive shot. As I will take two runs. I'll let that one go. So we're inching towards 30. We're on 26 so far. Nicely behind that one. And we'll take a quick single. There we go. Just slowly starting to get a bit more confidence, especially against the ball that's pitched up. Oh. Let's see. I'm surprised I want a single there. Oh, I'm out of breath already. 11, 11 overs gone. We are 29 for no. Well, 29 not out. And it's the fast right arm bowler now. No. Now the thing about the uh, the left the right arm fast bowler is there's no pocky run up, so you have to be very you have to be on your guard. As soon as you press that next ball sign, ready. Edged and oh, it's gone to fourth slip, but it bounced. It didn't quite carry. And I prefer the bowlers when they have their longer run up, so you have a bit of time to compose yourself. Against the, uh, the shorter runner, you sort of take your guard and you need to be ready. It's easy to leave those. As soon as I know it's short, it's a bit of a relief because you just leave it. Like that. It's a maiden over, that's 97.56 miles an hour, so. Don't well to get way out of the way of it. Left arm fast. And there we go. That's the first time I've actually aimed to score runs. And that's a four. The first boundary off the middle of the bat anyway. I think I scored a, an edge or a boundary off the edge earlier on. But that's the first real shot I've actually played to uh, achieve the boundary. So this just to keep make, make sure I'm keeping composed now. Because again, that's the type of shot that could easily lead to my downfall. Another two runs, but again it's just a little little too confident, a little too casual. I think once you play yourself in, it's just that horrible feeling of thinking you're in and then you hear them, uh, them, them wickets clatter behind you. There we go. That's giving them hands nice and low. Oh, well, that's gone in the air. Oh, and nearly a caught and bowl bowl there. I've got the just dropped the hands too slowly. <coughs> it came off the handle of the bat right at the very top. Just a little warning there, just to keep yourself, keep yourself on your toes. Don't get casual. Like that. <laughs> I think I'm getting far too casual now. I'm playing everything, playing everything too far away from my body. But it's eight off the over. I'm to 37, inching towards the half century. That's the right arm, fast, medium bowler. That's wide. And it's four buys. Thank you very much indeed. There we go. Another punch off the front foot. A couple of runs. And let that one go. Just make sure you get back in your crease if you're batting outside. I am. And again, let that one go. Oh, 
Oh, that's, am that's amazing. That's the best delivery of the day for me. It's angled in towards me and left me a hell of a lot. Look at that. It's going towards the leg stump and gone over off. That's a brilliant delivery. I couldn't do much about that. If I got an edge there, I wouldn't be crying. It's one of those deliveries, as they say, it was too good for me. That's so, oh, I was about to say I've punched it through the gap, but I haven't. There's nowhere near the gap. All right, back to fast bowling. Look at this. Look at the uh, bowling figures right now. The commonly rates are rather good, uh, apart from the left arm fast bowler. Uh, this always happens when I'm playing this type of cricket. I'm just defending with my life, really. Uh, 14 overs gone, 37. So 39 scored. Oh, that's well bowled and well played. Get that one down nicely, and I've even got a run. Oh, well bowled. That's missed everything, I think. I've just gone for buys. The buys aren't showing up on my score. Um, it's really annoying. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that I haven't scored the runs, but uh, I haven't, you know, they're not. Adding on the score. Let that one go. Yeah, I, I can get what they're saying. I, if, if, if I haven't scored the runs, then maybe I shouldn't have them on my scoreboard. And look, just like a real cricket, it's not. It doesn't go down to the to the bowler, uh, to the batsman. Sorry. Oh, God, that's, that's a couple of runs there, though. Yeah, that's four. Wow. Four good runs there. Happy with that shot. Try not to get too carried away. Get towards that 50. Oh, that's, that's a very dubious leave. Oh, there we go. Let's get the bat on it. There's a quick single there. Come on. It is. One run. It's a 45 now. Let's see if we can get that half century. And that would be a nice addition to the channel. Left arm medium fast. Uh, okay, we'll see economy rate. Yeah, 1.5. It's only bowled two overs. Um, this is the bowler that I tend to struggle against the most. Because uh, it's that delivery that's pitch legs, pitch leg and hits off. Oh, just so not, just very bit nervous about playing anything really. Sometimes I'm just happy to see it. Pit short. No, that's a little bit slower. That's only 79 miles an hour. I think it might be the slowest delivery of the day so far, and I very much appreciated not getting out. And these are very slow. 75 miles an hour. I'm not sure why they've suddenly decided to bowl a lot slower, but no problem. Yeah, that's very slow. <laughs> He's literally coming at me now like a tennis ball. And I'm not sure why that is. He's there in a new update where they've suddenly decided to tire. But this bowl is only bowled two overs. And that's well bowled. I've, that's pitch left me. And I'm very lucky to get away with that. I'll come outside the crease, I think, a little bit more. I'll let him, let him go. A straight delivery. Nothing to worry about there. 46 now, off how many overs? 16 overs gone, 46 scored. Yeah, suddenly suddenly the bowling has changed. It's literally coming at me at less than 80 miles an hour. Okay, I'm still, being, I'm still being quite patient. I'm still letting anything go that's short and wide. I'm not risking anything too extravagant. Ooh, that's been close. Yeah, that's the in, the in cutter, but not enough movement right now. Oh, I've tried to play it late, I have. Another scoring shot. I did actually let it come towards me and I just guided the ball down between fourth slip and gully, I think. So that's the 50. I raised my hat and raised my bat my 50. It's always a nice to see 50 on a board. 
that means anything now is a bonus. I think I'll put a bit of a, I'll always put a little bit of pressure on myself to score 50, and then anything after this is, is a bonus. Now, uh, still leaving the ball on length. So basically, I'll reset myself now to zero. Um, so I'm always looking for that 100. So another 50 required. <laughs> so we'll start again, zero for zero. Fast bowling. There's still ones and twos available. So we don't still don't need to be hitting across the line. We don't need to be playing baseball. We can still let the ball go on length alone. Keep in the side of our crease. Ah, that's a terrible shot. That's probably the worst one so far. The bat is very far away from me there. And I'm bold, yeah. Just got a little bit lazy. I got the 50. Right, let's try one more game. I think this time what I'm gonna do, as it's the last, probably the last game I'm gonna have on this little period, I will try and pay, play a little bit more aggressively. Uh, even if it means I lose wickets, I uh, should be able to score a few runs just for fun. So we're going to start off with Alistair Cook and he's going to be facing the right arm fast bowler. But we will play a little bit more aggressively. And we're going to inside our crease still though. And we missed it. <laughs> so we will start playing anything short and wide. Anything that's uh, too, too straight we'll defend. But we will actually try and score runs and I've already missed two in a row. <laughs> this is why I don't play like this. This is why I am very much a defensive player. There we go, there's a first four. Anything pitched up, whether it's going to move in or out, it's just going to have to be trying to try and hit a boundary off it. We got one run there though, probably. Yep. Oh, I ain't scoring off that one. <laughs> no, I'll leave that one alone. That's four wides. Edged and out. That's the first wicket down. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what happens when I start try to play too aggressively. Play again. Right arm fast, so the ball does move around. So it is difficult to try and score runs against the ball that moves quite a lot. Like that. <laughs> Yeah, this is why it's, it's, it's a good, great game. The idea of cricket is not to be able to smash the ball around, unless you're England, <laughs> playing bad ball. But this is why I enjoy playing it. It's, uh, you can't just stand here and smash the ball over, all over the place. It's, uh, you do need to rely on some sort of technique. There we go. <laughs> as soon as I saw it short, I was just going to swing the bat at it. <laughs> And just prove my theory wrong. Yep, there we go. This. Ugh. Right, how long left? How long left? Okay, right, we're gonna have one more game of playing properly in my head. Um, I've got 20 minutes, so let's try and score as many runs as I can. 20 minutes. I probably won't commentate so much now because I'm running out of things to say. I think what I'll do, just edit out the boring stuff. That'd be a good idea. I do love playing this uh, golden wicket mode. I haven't scored many boundaries to put on my show reel. That's what I need to do. Oh my God, that's gone somewhere. It's gone down to... Fine leg before still wanting to score some quick runs. There we go, just come out of the crease a little bit there, walk down the pitch a little bit, and stroke it away for a couple of runs. Try to pull that. It's far too wide to pull. Should have cut it. 
Left arm medium fast. We'll try and score some pull shots, see if it's short enough. But anything pitched up, I'll play with respect. Yeah, very slow again, 75. Oh, a ball again, yep. Seems a lot slower. Punched away there. There's only probably going to be just two runs there. It should have been four, to be honest. I should have put a little bit more of a, a follow through behind that one. And there we go. I don't know where it's going. It's been over the slips there. Coming out of the middle of the bat ish. I think I must have played it very late. It's flown away for four. Oh, I was tempted. That was a tempting, tempting 85 mile an hour short delivery. <laughs> Here we go, just looking for that gap. If it's pitched up, that's not too much bother. That's three runs there. So we're on 19 already off three overs. Bowling. It's quick, 97.5. Managed to get the bat on it. Edged. Yeah, it's been far too casual. Let them go, Lee. Let them go. No point scoring nine teams. Come on. Right, one more go. Right. Last game, I promise. Right. Fast arm bowler. We are going to be playing sensible cricket. And we're off the mark with a push. For a couple of runs. The problem is, I have been playing for like 20 minutes now, so I do feel like I've played myself in. I think my biggest scores have been after playing two or three games, knowing that the mind and the eyes have sort of got used to the uh, the way the the bowling is, is coming along. Oh, Christ, that's miss. Yeah. So all the time you're defending is. A big opportunity to score ones and twos. Yeah, there we go again. Getting right behind the ball. Technique. That's my technique. Getting behind the ball. Whether it looks good or not, there's no, uh, no real importance. There we go. Just try and score as many runs as I can. The ball's pitched up. And there's a four. Another punch for four. It's not really, I'm not even trying to score runs, I'm just trying to defend. And I'm getting good purchase off the bat with the speed of the ball. Oh, that's terrible though. That's just rank. That's overconfident. Playing the wrong line. Beaten outside the gift stump. Oh, well, that's lovely. That's lovely. That's probably the shot of the day for me. go so 25 easy I say easy runs but and he has another couple of runs there just a, literally a, a defensive shot puts us on to 27 so I'm feeling quite good at the moment three overs gone 27 runs scored so I'm hoping this could be a good demonstration of my technique <laughs> As he plays and misses, playing too casually. Ah, oh, come on. I'm talking about it and I'm still doing it. Talking about leaving, talking about being too casual, and I'm doing exactly the same. Come on. We can let that one go. Look at the, look at the length, it's going to go over the top. Ooh, we're bold. <laughs> yeah, I played and missed it, but it's 
no, no point playing that at all. Just a one off the over. We're going to fast medium. Just got to outside the crease. Play its ball and its merit. Let that one go. So that's 88 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure this bowler also can bowl at about 75, which is good variation. I don't know where it's gone. It's gone out to the onside. And there's a couple of runs off the inside edge. There's another four. Half volley. Bowling. That's gonna keep me my toes up. A nice straight one towards the leg stump. Bowling. That's got me out as soon as. <laughs> To be honest, as soon as that bounced, I realised I was on a completely wrong line, completely wrong position. And that's, all, that's me out for 35. Right, unfortunately, that's not that it for today. <laughs> oh. Right, so there's my technique, as you would call it. I did score 50. Um, the idea basically is to, against the very fast bowlers, to just defend with your life and just hopefully you can score some runs with your defensive shots. There's plenty of ones and twos to score. And then against the medium fast bowlers, coming up your crease by, I don't know, maybe a foot or just a bit less than that, try and negotiate some of that, some of that turn. And above all, patience. <laughs> I didn't really show much patience in that uh, display. But when I'm scoring big, it's because I've been, been playing for like 30, 40 overs. And that's how hard it is to try and concentrate and to get those big scores. For me anyway, I've seen there's a few centuries been scored by other people, whether they whether it took them five overs or fifty overs, fair play to that. Right, don't forget to subscribe. I'm up to six hundred uh, subscribers now, so I thank everybody. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, but if I can get to a thousand subscribers eventually, that'll be amazing. Right. Also the Facebook group's still going strong, uh, Facebook.com slash IB Cricket. I'll see you again very soon. Uh, cheerio and goodbye.